Hello, my name is Lars McCarter, and I work at the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, where we work with our partners to defend the nation against today's cybersecurity threats and collaborate with our partners to build a more secure and resilient infrastructure for the future. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about what we do in CISA, give you an overview of what our days are like, and how you can be part of the team to help defend today and secure tomorrow. Since this is a virtual format, unfortunately, we won't be able to have any dialogue or engage in back and forth discussions. But if you have any questions, please visit CISA's website and reach out to us through the contact section. Complex organizations need to be able to monitor and defend their enterprise information systems and other endpoints. That's what a Cybersecurity Operations Center, or CSOC, does. A comprehensive CSOC detects and exposes potential threats for further investigation. And once a threat is identified, it directs an incident response team to react. A CSOC can also be a lab environment to analyze threats and the best way to manage them. To withstand a growing, advanced, persistent threat, the CSOC relies on analytics and cyber intelligence. Analytics connect the dots, turning seemingly unrelated information into patterns that provide actionable intelligence. Threats are traced and paired with other government and open source data for in-depth analysis. And the information is then shared and leveraged to prevent future attacks. A CSOC provides organizations with the critical situational awareness to operate securely and with confidence in cyberspace. I joined this as a team about 18 months ago as an interagency assignment from the United States Coast Guard, where I serve as an active duty military officer. Part of my assignment at CISA, I've served in various cybersecurity or operational roles for the better part of my career. I grew up with a significant interest in technology and after high school pursued engineering studies and ultimately ended up leading technology efforts uh, for the US government. I've been extremely lucky to serve the American people in multiple capacities, particularly by applying my expertise and passion for secure technology on a daily basis. Within CISA, I'm assigned to a threat hunting subdivision within the cybersecurity division. Our mission inside of threat hunting is to identify analyze, detect, and respond to significant cyber threats to the United States to ensure those threats are unable to achieve their objectives. Uh, we are the front lines in identifying and tracking those threats, detecting malicious activity inside of the federal civilian executive branch, the nation's critical infrastructure, and partner networks. We do this by proactively hunting for malicious cyber activity and responding to cyber incidents. Essentially, we serve as the Department of Homeland Security's primary operational arm for cyber defense against our adversaries. This mission takes a complete team effort across multiple specialty areas. My primary job is to oversee intelligence planning and support by ensuring our operational teams who coordinate across the entire government have the latest intelligence on adversary intent and capability. Basically, we need to know what advanced persistent threat actors are capable of and what they intend to do to us. Every day, our analysts report into work within their assigned mission teams, which are typically aligned uh, to our primary adversaries in the cyber domain, and work across our foreign allies, intelligence community, law enforcement, and operational elements to assess all sources of classified, as well as open source intelligence to help us prioritize our operations. This funneling of intelligence and information ensures we maintain focus on only the most pressing threats while avoiding distractions without significant impact or risk for the nation. These analysts need to maintain both technical skill sets to understand how our adversaries can hold us at risk, but also the intelligence expertise necessary to know what information we need, as well as what information we hold that might be of value to our domestic and international partners. In addition to this vital analysis work, we also have teams of dedicated and do technical in-depth analysis of malware and malicious code. These teams spend their days in various platforms, determining if malicious samples collected from across the world pose a threat to us and how. They're typically skilled software developers, engineers, and sometimes just those with a knack for code review and analysis. The intelligence team efforts are in direct support of our operational mission teams. These hunt and incident response teams spend their days working with private companies, state, local, 
tribal and territorial, as well as federal government entities to detect malicious activity within their networks and systems. These operations are conducted 24 hours a day and 365 days a year, both within the United States and around the globe. Members of these teams often deploy on short notice to ensure capability can be rapidly deployed to counter adversarial activity. All of these men and women are dedicated public servants who commit their days and many of their nights to ensure we maintain the benefits of things like a reliable and secure federal government, robust critical infrastructure across transportation, water, finance, energy, and all other sectors, as well as ensuring secure and fair elections for all Americans. It's a significant responsibility and true calling for those potentially interested in public service. Cyber threat is global. Cyber does not recognize any boundaries, no jurisdictions. Everything is a target now because everything is networked, which creates great changes to our lives, but it also creates new vulnerabilities as well as new weapons for people to use in multiple and variety of ways. The Cyber Intelligence Network is really to allow those analysts and those investigators as well who are dealing with cyber to share information, share expertise, and we look to Hizen to establish our COI, our community of interest, the in aware room. If there is a major issue going on, major attacks going on, we can go ahead, we can activate that room, and so we'll have analysts from across the nation getting on, sharing real-time information, dispelling stuff that may be in the news, as well as sharing our expertise, because as, you know, from fusion centers to law enforcement departments, state and federal, we all have different expertise, and cyber is a very big field. And so you may have someone who has a lot of information on the more technical side, you may have someone who has more information on the strategic side, and we're able to use the platform to kind of bring all that information and know-how and knowledge together in one place. In the world of Cineware, having the ability to have federal, state, local agencies, the coordination with private sector entities that may have greater expertise in cyber than most government agencies, it leverages multi-capabilities that each organization has. It strengthens the bridge that we have to build between those organizations and really gives people the ability to build walls to stop those threats and those aggressors that want to attack government, private sector, and the citizens of our nation. So we talked about what we do here at CISN and what our days look like. Uh, does any of this interest you? Does the idea of service to others appeal to you? Might you be interested in a career in public service? Uh, so we certainly hope you are. Uh, we definitely need the help, lots of help actually. Each year our mission grows and we need smart, dedicated and principled employees uh, to join the team, <clears throat> both at CISN and across the larger federal government. If you're interested in cybersecurity, or have a knack for hacking, computer science, uh, you might think about the opportunities that reside within you know, either the United States military, the intelligence community, Department of Homeland Security, and particularly here within CISA as well. We all have unique complementary missions needed to help keep our nation and its people safe. If you are interested, you can get as early, started as early as today. Uh, there's information about internships at CISA and across the federal government uh, available on our websites. Um, these high school and college internships, they're great opportunities to get a feel for the type of work that you'll be doing after graduation um, and to kind of understand a little bit more about what it is we do. They might even help you better understand what type of degrees, or certifications, or additional experience you'd like to achieve um, on, on your professional career. Um, but regardless of what you choose to do and how you choose to pursue it, just keep in mind the breadth of opportunity that exists to you in any public service opportunities. But there are more ways to help apply your interest than just the federal government as well. State, local, tribal, territorial governments, as well as non-governmental organizations or NGOs, 
all play vital roles in national securities. At any rate, I, I hope this has been helpful and I wish you the best of luck in the path that you choose um, after you graduate.